audible am i am audible to everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay please keep uh, all the uh, participants in mute whenever uh, required you can talk okay yeah. i'm sharing my screen now Yeah, today's topic is uh, achieving value proposition fit and business fit. What is this exactly in your uh, opinion? Anybody? Anybody can tell. Yes, anyone can unmute that and answer. Everybody seems to be in a sleepy mood after having a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Because of rainy day, people are yeah. Maybe somewhat. They are thinking, sir. They are thinking. Okay. They are yeah, thinking. Yeah. Thinking. <laughs> okay, we can call someone otherwise. If we take the name, they will respond otherwise. That's better. Hey, Mr. Vinay. Sir. <laughs> answer to the question yeah, what is the, your opinion on this value proposition actually i am not aware of this words value uh, this okay. yes. i i did not uh, get the question clearly sir so today's session is about value proposition and business fit yes sir With respect to what context you are expecting here this is regarding uh, enterprise and uh, uh, basically on how to uh, earn, earn earn money and all this part hmm entrepreneurship like startups right yes startup and all this part. so what is value proposition here uh basically ideas and all those comes in uh, under this category Okay. Anyone else? Basically, on products and service and all those part. Hmm. Okay. Got it. I want to give one more chance to anyone. Still, anybody can respond. Do you have any idea about this, friends? If not students, we can say, sir. No, definitely, sir. Yes, uh, customers uh, attract attracting customers towards any company or organization. Uh, they have to value that, and uh, they have to recognize the value of the company like that. Yes, sir. You have to give value to the customers. then only they will come to you right yes sir we need to treat them as our uh, god and all those part no 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 need to think like a god and all that is different customers are gods that old sayings now that is gone now it is purely what value you are giving and what you are getting see if you go to any market and you want to buy one product like a soap or any product like a mobile what do you see in that ratings ratings you will see performance quality desired features quality and uh, pricing like features and uh, you know ratings with respect to what you will see performance <laughs> With respect to our reliability and all those part also. One by one, one by one. Reliability. Hmm. With respect to our material, 
quality of the product sir what is its efficiency and how it is working all say your mobile for example apple is there you see the features and everything since it is having all, all good features and all if he is, he is selling for a 10 lakhs you will you buy Uh, sir, I mean, product, 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 product. the worthiness depends on the uh, features itself. Yeah, features and benefits and value and affordable price. Paying. Affordable price. Yeah, affordable price is different and the price it is quoted. Yes, sir. So you see, is that product it has value for this price? Value for money. Yeah, value for money. Okay. So now we'll see. Uh, I'll. I hope you are seeing my screen. Yes, sir. Yeah. See how you will achieve. Say, suppose you are you want to uh, do some business, or you want to develop one product, and you want to do business with that product. How you will achieve? this value proposition and business propositions both sir uh, can you keep in the presentation mode it will be big screen yeah no okay yeah, basically okay, sir. basically a uh, demo and all those part goes with the first and uh, after uh, we will look after offers and all those part and after getting some customers uh we will ask their reviews and all those part hmm. can anyone uh, having any idea of uh, starting some company in your uh, batch yes sir what type of uh, company you want to establish that 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 not yet decided sir but uh, i am very much interested in this business field and all those part you want to start something but you are not decided yes, right yes sir uh, basically i am still at the ideation stage i will come to that part ideation part okay anyone else who is already having ideas to what to start and all what to do no one okay uh, see uh, we'll start our uh, presentation okay there are two important concepts for this any business model if uh, if you want to work that business you have to do you have to check for these two things one is designing and another is testing to have uh, any business to be successful you should have these two concepts you have to design and you have to test without doing this you cannot do any business right and next we will see value proposition see value proposition means what is the value you are creating with your product whether it is fitting into the market or not whether it is fitting into the price or not whether it will uh, satisfy your customers or not how you will decide this value proposition so it is a product Basically. and services that match the needs and expectations of your customers right if you have a idea to design something you should find the target audience means whether that customers are there for utilizing this product or not or service first you have to identify that otherwise what happens nobody will come to you if they don't find any use of your product and second thing is what is the value it is creating in the marketplace you should have a market customers will be customers is a market but is that only limited customers or you can expand and scale the business you should identify that and whose problems it is solving 
there are so many kinds of people customers available like corporates individuals or poor people middle class rich people so whose problems you are going to solve in the market anything will be developed to solve some problem do you agree with this yes sir like for example can anyone give i'll tell you for mobility problems this motorcycles cycles cars are developed right to fly from one place to another place aeroplanes developed like that you have to solve the problem then that becomes a business and what problems you are solving one is target audience like for particular people and another is what exactly the problem you are solving when when you are starting the business you are creating a product you have to think in this areas and how you are going to solve them better than anyone else see like uh, if you want to start a hotel or restaurant there are so many restaurants but still if you want to start a restaurant you can but it should be better than other restaurants then only you will attract customers do you agree with this yes sir so you have to decide how you are going to solve the problem for example in initial days i have started one battery manufacturing unit for walkie talkies do you aware of walkie talkies police use yes sir yes sir, sir. Hmm. motorola brand is a well known brand for that walkie talkies yes so i started manufacturing that battery it itself by importing the cells inside from china okay i could succeed to selling to one company particular company but i couldn't sell to other companies by the time two three brands have come into india imported and uh, finally after few days uh, after few uh, two three years i shut down that plant why i got got a shut down base me because i have to give a value proposition for this i am manufacturing the battery at the cost of 700 and people importing and selling at 500 then people will go to them only no with the same specifications so you have to do better than anyone else you have to keep in this mind the next one is when will be value proposition fit will be achieved when you will achieve this when you solve all the above problems you will achieve this right first is you have to create a value in the marketplace second one is whose problem you are solving what problem you are solving and are you solving better than anyone else then your product or service will have some value proposition that will definitely fit into the market do you agree with this yes sir uh, anyone have any questions on this no sir good then i'll move to the next next one is business fit so you have created a value but you have to do as a business what is the basic fundamental thing you want from the business revenue profits yeah ultimately you have to get the profit 
otherwise it will become a charity right yes sir yeah so it is a degree to which your business model is profitable and scalable your business should be profitable and also expandable and for this what you should do you have to find how to generate revenue and how to control the cost next how to grow your business see if you started one business and if you can't grow that business you can't expand that then there is no no use one day you have to shut down right so these things you have to keep in mind but next is how you measure you have achieved a business fit what is the measurement points for this one is profit profit and expansion expansion these two things and how you are controlling the cost so what will be the minimum profit margin you have to get to run the business in normal conditions anyone have any idea? you can say 100% 50% like that but what is a minimum uh, same uh, somewhat greater than the cost of raw materials and uh, manpower cost and all no, no, that all you have to adjust and then net net profit who wants to start the business they should have this uh, minimum concept who told that uh, they have no idea but wants to start the business it's me hmm. you tell me what is the minimum profit margin you need to sustain the business it should be greater than means a bit greater than the cost price tell in the figure 10% 12% like that that sir that depends on the uh, product cost basic product cost whatever may be the cost if, see for every product for every cost you will have capital fixed capital basing on that only it will be there whatever may be the cost when i sir is asking what percentage you are expecting if you okay. say based on that he will explain Such as five, ten, or fifteen, like that. You should have idea, no? Yeah, I got it. But yes, sir. So minimum after all expenditures, net profit, you should have minimum to minimum eight percent. Then only you can run the business. If you are not getting eight percent minimum, you have to work out how to get the minimum eight percent. otherwise it is better not doing the business okay what are you require for doing any business one is working capital you need and capital for that whatever fixed cost like raw materials whatever it is after getting that you need working capital to run the show right and cash flow cash flow means one side you are inputting your uh, funds and you are selling and you have to get the revenue out of that and you have to again put the money back to the business so that cash flow should not stop any time it should be continuous otherwise what happens you will prepare you will manufacture all the products and you will be ready with all the services and you will sell and you are not billing you are billed but you are not able to collect the money back then you are stuck if you are not able to collect the money for the whatever products you sold or services you sold you should be able to collect the money back otherwise your cash will be stuck there only and you should have a minimum time period like how much time you are giving to your customers credit time this all will come under this cash flow structure and you have to look for the taxes also you are 
you have manufactured a very good product and you have uh, given some price but end of the day you have to pay the tax also to the government right and next legal requirements why this legal requirement if you do any business without any permissions or legal approvals is in between your plant will be shut down you have to get required licenses if you overlook this one day people will come and lock your business then you will be in trouble right whoever start want to start the business you have to look into these aspects it is a must anyone having any questions till now are you getting any value out of this uh, session now value proposition yes, i am asking yes, are you getting the concepts what is required yes, to do sir. the business yes sir any questions till now you can ask no, any silly questions also you can ask until sir, until why it is no, no? exactly uh, exactly base is 8% why exactly base profit margin yeah because some products may cost in lakhs and uh, if we look after the profits uh, the profits may be in uh, thousands but that would be uh, greater than 8% right and if we look after small products like uh, like 100 rupees product uh, some may look after 5 rupees profit uh, but that won't be greater than 8% right so no, no i am i am telling minimum 8% that Hello? is survive for you you have to Hello? survive no yes sir you... but uh, sir sir if my product cost is 100 rupees i uh -huh. need the profit of only Five rupees. So my uh, my uh, products got uh, sold in large quantity. That that can give profit uh, a lot uh, instead of getting eight percent. Why you require profit? You tell me. Uh, my survival and the business survival. Both right. For your survival, how much you want? With the present uh, conditions. Uh, basically, it depends on my expenditures and all. But initially, when I start a business, I won't be looking after a lot of profits. Uh, means it is my not lot of profit. It is not lot of profit. Is it? It is based on the all permutations and combinations. People have come arrived to this figure. Minimum eight percent is required to survive for you to run the business. Uh, okay sir means uh, is there any uh, example like that uh, exactly 8% above means minimum is 8% yeah see with the mute my other people uh, mute na no? going to mute see there is one uh, number 7 mute your mic there is a vendor working for uh, this ericsson Okay, they will give services. No, I am mute them. They will give services like they will their uh, manpower go to the towers and they will work on the towers. For that they will be paid. Okay. Yes. So every year, every quarter, he will calculate the salaries, and there is no uh, investment on the products. The only services means manpower, salaries, their uh, food, uh, their. accommodation the transportation all this this is the, their investment okay and one coordinator one project manager to run the business to coordinate with the customer and to the people manpower yes okay end of the day when he calculates the investment he made and revenue is getting because the billing period will be 90 days if this month he invested 10 lakhs he will get this 10 lakhs plus whatever be the profit after 90 days only so this 90 yes, days 
if he has to calculate uh, interest for these 10 lakhs for the 90 days also ah 90 days also you need interest na otherwise yeah yeah, yeah that's also. true so say 3% interest goes also 5% will be left out for you to survive yes sir yes sir so this is how they calculated okay yes sir but uh, my my thought is that uh, the initial investment uh, after clearing the inv initial investment means all uh, means uh, i am nil now but i know i i need not need uh, much profits so i can uh, get uh, at least 3 to 4% of profit that's uh, sufficient right see that is your uh, opinion if you want to survive for 4% you can survive but it, it, after in this 3 months no you will have a lot of things you will come across like interest part yes, other sir. part and all yes sir then you will be shortfall of the cash then what you do yeah again we have to borrow hmm. that's all so to avoid that that's at least if you have eight percent on hand then this interest part and all will come into the picture and you can uh, adjust for that yes sir. okay sir. okay next both value proposition fit and business fit are essential for creating a successful business now you understood now you have to get the value for your product and you have to do the business for a profit both should satisfy to have a successful business but is it possible to get both at the same time is it possible both no sir but initially uh, we have to gain value proposition after hmm. that we have to focus on business right for this uh, there is a steps you need to follow okay there are different stages of testing and validation for to find the both fits we will see what are the steps first step is problem solution fit so this is a stage where you test if you have identified a real problem that customers care about and if you have a potential solution that can address it you can use tools like customer interviews surveys landing pages prototypes etc to validate your assumptions and learn from customer feedback so since you are not having any idea what to start you have to do this this stage you have to do first then only you can come to a conclusion whether what you are going to do will work out or not how you will do by interviewing people and conducting surveys now it is internet era landing pages you can put prototypes you can design one prototype and you can showcase that so that it will get validated and you will get the feedback right any doubt on this no sir i have one question to everyone um normally in a toilet uh, how many buckets of water every person uses see seriously you can think on this huh? Sir, Mira is up. You can also around uh, 50 liters per day or 200 buckets. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take it as a round figure, two buckets. Okay. okay. So, in India, or if you take a uh, world population, how many buckets of water is being used in toilets? A huge, no? Yeah. Yes, sir. Very, very large. Very, very large. And one fine day will get shortfall of water, right? Not immediately. Now also we are facing in summers water shortage. Right now? Yes, sir. So why don't you think to create a waterless toilet? This is a problem solution fit.
Is it right or wrong? No. You can work out, no? You can think and you can uh, create it. So that so many buckets of water can be saved. Do you think is it possible or not? I think we can reduce, but we cannot uh, go without water. Mm -hmm. Some sort of at least 50 percent. Yeah, we can save 50 percent. So think like this. There is a problem and there is, you need to find a solution for that problem. Then only these ideas will create into a business models. Okay. Next, product market fit. This is a stage where you test if you have a product or service that customers love and are willing to pay for. You can use tools like minimum viable products, experiments, analytics, etc. to measure customer behavior and satisfaction. What is the meaning of this? So your product should fit into the market. In market, it has to give value. For this, I uh, will take an example of Nanocar. What happened to Nanocar? More sales. More sales. But where is Budget. the problem? No, even though it is budget friendly, but uh, compared to customer satisfaction and uh, it is not up to the mark. Mm -hmm. So it didn't fit into the market. Yeah. Right. People are willing to pay for it, but it is, didn't fit into the market. Initially, people are buy it. People buy this product, and uh, they didn't find value for that. After usage of some few months, uh, people rejected it, right? That's why there is no nano car now. If you see electric car Nexon example, and it is selling like a hot cakes now, right? Do you agree with this? So like this, your product has to fit in the market and it, it has to give value to the customers. Customers has to love your product and they have to, they, they should will, they should be ready to pay for that. For that, you have to do these experiments, analytics, everything. You have to do survey for customer satisfaction also. Got it? Next, business model fit. This is a stage where you test if you have a business model that can generate profit and scale. Like we discussed earlier, it has to give the profit and it has to be expanded also. Scaling means increasing the business. You can use tools like financial projections, key performance indicators, dashboards, etc. to monitor your revenue streams, cost structure and growth potential. So when you do these uh, calculations like revenue streams from where you are getting revenue and what is the cost structure, where you can reduce the cost and where you are most of the areas eating your cost, um, your funds and where is the growth potential, you have to put your money where there is a growth potential. I will give a small example of this uh, telecom, this GSM and all, this Vodafone, Airtel, all these businesses, you know they will uh, put tower first to give the signal. To get the signal, they will install one tower and they will install all the equipment and all. You know what is the cost of establishing one tower? Any idea? Maybe around 3 to 5, 4 lakhs. <laughs> no, sir. It cost 40 lakhs. Oh. 
for putting one tower and every month current bill only goes for 50000 so to get revenue back from that tower you know minimum con connections they have come to a conclusion this many connections if we get we can put a tower there this market analysis they will do first so initially they decided that at least 500 connections if they can get then that will be a profitable tower that part of the tower so like this uh, they will do all the calculations and then they will go for the tower so even if some areas if, even if now also some people may not getting proper signal then if you complain to them they will say something if they cannot put one more tower for you did you face anyone uh, like this all are there yes sir hmm did you face any signal problem and you have complained to customer care and yeah, what yes, we, even uh, many people when they turn to jio hmm. from airtel and bsnl and there is a lot of burden on the tower, but uh, the signal is weak in some areas. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it, uh, telling about the native side. Install changes, of course. Uh, even with uh, many complaints, the least bothered about that. Mm, because they cannot afford to put one more tower for you. Yeah. That's why they will tell something, we'll solve it in next two, three months, like that they will tell. Okay, this is how this business model fit will be analyzed. Now any uh, yeah, queries, any queries from the students you can ask now. Yes, please, students. Sir, can I share this as a Google form feedback form? Yeah, you can share, sir. Keep that link in chat box so that they can uh, yeah, get yeah. The feedback. Yes, it has been posted in Google, I think it's posted, yes. Japan, sir. Uh, Japan. Hmm, anyone have any questions? No one is talking. Sir. Hmm. No, sir. No queries. <coughs> All understood? Yes, sir. Sir, 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 sir small request. Still, uh -huh. you can do, take some more time so that we can extend up to three. Give yes, sir. No issue. Put to them so that, uh, sir, I posted the link in the chat, chat box, sir. I'm posting it. See, I have one YouTube channel also. Okay. Uh, you can uh, get all these uh, things like motivational and how to work on yourself. Okay. Students, See, one, one question. question that you can you access it. Now. Yeah, one question. It's not a question. How you will get ideas? Anyone uh, can answer for me? When we, when we look after the problem. Oh, okay, you got one problem. You want to solve it, but you don't know how to solve it. What do you do? Research. Research means what you do. Please click this link and give your... Uh, how to overcome that problem. Feedback. For that, what you have to do? You have to do, first thing is reading. You read, read, read. Then you will get ideas. Yes, sir. Research means all the part means googling, uh, 
browsing reading and all those part come under the research part chapter hmm that you have to do so you have to first read if you have any problem you have to read regarding that topic and next thing is pma you have any idea anybody reads books novels anything or only textbooks or engineering books only <laughs> my suggestion is everyone should spend some time half an hour to read other books of your interest anyone read like that any other books other than your course sorry yes please respond see it will help you only if i am asking some question yeah it will help you only i will also give answers for that meanwhile just all of you please turn on your videos once so that we can take a snapshot of the entire video all of you are requested to turn on your videos please one second one minute just for taking one snapshot Yes, hey, students. Please respond. All of you, switch on your videos for a moment. Yes, yeah, PMA. Ah, uh, yes, sir. PMA means positive mental attitude. Yes, you understand yes, what is positive mental attitude? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to be with the same attitude, positive attitude, people only. Otherwise, what happens if you have some idea? They will, other people will pull your leg. They will demotivate you. Yes, sir. We should be with the like-minded people. Hmm. Like-minded people. Positive mental attitude means people should yeah, have positive yeah, mental yeah. attitude. You have to be with those people please only. Then also, please turn on your videos. Then only you will. Your idea will be encouraged. and ideas positiveness and negativeness will be discussed there is one beautiful book maybe people have heard or not think and grow rich by yes, napoleon sir. hill yes sir how many, how many people read that book hmm yes please respond friends anyone read that book No, you have to read that book. At least now you try to go through that book all of you once. Sure, sir. Sure. It will help you to understand the structure to be successful. There are sixteen chapters are there. Each chapter is a gold mine. You know how that book was written? Any idea? Yes, response, friends. No, sir. Daniel, Daniel Car Carnegie, one other is there. Daniel Carnegie, I think. He has told Napoleon Hill to research on the successful people, but and write the book. and he has done research on 20000 people for 25 years after that he wrote that book so how much value it will be having if you want to do a business or any job for any kind of thing that book is a bible you read that book if you don't have time to read the book you can uh, listen audio book you can listen Um, sir, can you suggest some business ideas? And then that means you are into that field. Can you suggest yeah. some simple business ideas where they can concentrate upon? Yes, uh, sir. Now presently, there is a huge demand for uh, charging stations. Now all vehicles, bikes, cars is going to be electrical, battery operated vehicles. So there is a huge potential for that charging stations. you design and you install and charge i think apart from that uh, i think one more problem with this is the waste produced from this batteries i think sir what sir 
Waste. Produced from batteries. That will be recycled, na sir. Recycled, na. That will be recycled. I think percentage still that part is also not there. Most largely in India, I think so. Yes. Ha. One can consider on that also for recycling of that batteries. Yes. Not only batteries, sir. All electronic uh, waste. Electronic waste. That's it. Yeah. Those who are interested, they can concentrate on that also. Hmm. I think one more thing is uh, more efficient batteries. Research should go on for the having more efficient batteries. You no, know, a lot of research is going to be has to go into that uh, research because now the cost of battery is very high. If you take a car, example, if you take an Exxon car, okay. the battery cost is eight lakhs. Okay. Uh, so to reduce that cost to one lakh, two lakhs, lot of research has to go and a lot of uh, penetration has to be there. Yeah, yeah. M more volume it has to create. Mm. Now I think India got that lithium uh, mines in Kashmir. But I think it oh. takes time to extract it and. Uh, ha! It takes time. But in the meantime, you can uh, have a new idea. No, you can research on that. Yeah, students can consider on those who are interested in research side and. Uh, yeah. Anyway, government also given a deadline by in 2030. Okay. There should not be any new vehicle of petrol or diesel. Okay. So no, no one can manufacture any petrol or diesel. So the in phase manner you have to convert into electric vehicles. Electric vehicles. Hmm. So this is a huge potential for a business point of view, okay. with respect to battery. Okay. You can see the charging stations or recycling, as you said, mm. or a new type of battery to develop. Yeah, that's good. Lithium is one major uh, part. With you now, see there is a phosphate is uh, added, or air, or any other material, okay. which will be suitable and which will give more efficient batteries. With more efficient energy compared to existing batteries, you can do some research on that, and you can start. Uh, government is also ready to help people. Uh, okay. Now T Hub is there now in uh, Hyderabad. Okay. They are encouraging new ideas. Okay. They are asking. I approach with them. Okay. They are asking. You give me. the different idea other than these existing batteries okay. then we can fund you they will fund you okay students are listening that what sir is saying yes yeah, sir we we are aware of that oh okay. that's fine you are aware of what t hub yes yeah, sir t hub and all these funding schemes for the startup hmm. companies hmm so work on these areas And you will definitely give get some idea. So all of you, did you feel your uh, feedback from please students? Still anybody left out? Please fill them. So I think you can check it, sir. Once. Hmm. Yes, students. Still, if anybody is not filled up, please fill up. So what is this uh, YouTube channel? Something was saying about that we have. What is the channel, sir? channel in youtube channel yeah, it is bhavana digital academy okay bhavana digital academy all of you know that bhavana digital academy youtube channel you can find uh, life coaching videos also in that okay yes students you have any other doubts please Still five more minutes. Time is there. You can respond quickly. If you have any doubts, you can get it clarified. Because in spite of his busy schedule, Sir has given us time, so we have to utilize that. Thirteen people responded, Sir. What about remaining ten people? Twenty-four, five, twenty-five people are there. Please respond other than that quickly. Students, make it fast. Respond quickly. 
if you have any questions or you want to ask anything also you can fill in that form yeah so that uh, i will sir will give the answers and i will write, write back to you sir since how long you have been in this line sir in this total experience sir yes sir 20 years sir okay la is where is the direction i my journey is uh, i will tell you about my journey anyway i didn't tell no after completing uh, i have done my diploma first yeah. then i have done my part time btech okay. i joined in police department as a sub inspector okay in police communications not this uh, regular police okay. then i left police department and joined in motorola mm. motorola walkie talkies this is private business and from there i went to gsm technology spice one company is there you might be heard okay i went in bangalore there from there i shifted to hutch hutch mobile you might have heard yeah, no? yeah, yeah. i joined in hutch and uh, hutch again gone and we shifted to nokia from nokia to samsung samsung in samsung we did this geo project and after that i want to do some business and all i done lot of businesses like battery manufacturing and railway contracts i did and again this online uh, businesses like amazon also i do i'm doing now and uh, i'm coaching i started coaching business i am pmp certified so i am giving coaching on pmp certification also and uh, recently i got a call from ericsson they told come and join and uh, support in 5g technology so i joined again and this coaching business now turned to this life coaching so i thought of uh, helping people who are stuck in their lives you know with their challenges people wants to overcome their challenges so i am doing this i am doing my level best whoever comes to me for any help i will never say no i think you can uh, write your uh, mail id and uh, phone number so that students, students can note down so can you can you uh, please explain a uh, uh, brief about amazon business something you should write hmm. yeah can you uh, give a brief on that so you can sell any product on amazon yes sir i uh, means uh, as an associate or uh, your own products my own product i am selling good bags i am selling okay okay sir okay. you want to know how it runs and what is the mode of fighting am i correct uh, mode is like this sir you have to register as a seller amazon seller account you have to open okay okay, okay. you have to go to seller central if you type in the url box seller central then that will be opened amazon seller central account opens you have to register there they will verify everything mail id is given you cannot on friends this is my mail id and my number is sir and you can uh, register uh, your products there and you can start selling you can um, take like uh, you can buy in a bulk and you can sell as a retail also okay and there are uh, two websites are there one is um, helium and one is scout jungle scout one is there there you can find the products which are more selling there's a process to identify that you have to subscribe then they will give the details basing on that which is suitable for uh, your uh, locations like india and all you can sell anywhere in the world those products you can identify and you can buy in wholesale rate and you can sell as a retail most of the people do that only okay are they charging for that or is it any percentage of uh... there are two types sir in this uh, like you can uh, directly sell that or 
Amazon Fulfilling Center one FBI is there. FBI option will be there. If you want to sell, sell means you you put your product on the Amazon, and when uh, customers order your product, you can directly deliver from your point. Then they will charge very less, but that fees will be there. And if you want to direct the get the products and give it to Amazon itself, they will they are maintaining warehouse. You can send uh, all the products to there, and from there they will dispatch to the customers. So you no need to do anything. You have to just put your price tag and you have to send it, and they will do everything. For that they will charge more, but even then also it is profitable. Okay. I think it is clear for the student to ask this question. Still any doubt in that? If you want to know what products and all. you can call me separately then i can explain and the way to get that products still any more questions or can i end the session friends still anybody have any sessions any doubts regarding that can ask him because sir has given us a valuable time so we have to utilize that effectively i'll give one minute time we'll see still anybody 19 responses we got sir oh Out of twenty, twenty, twenty-eight, I think, twenty-eight or twenty-nine. Yes. If you want to know yeah, more about, no. sir, if yes. you want to know more about uh, my profile, you can see my profile here, link tree. Okay. Yes, R has given us mail ID and phone numbers. You can contact further if you are unable to ask on this uh, platform. You can personally contact sir, and you can get your doubts cleared. Is it students? Is it clear, students? Okay. so now i'm closing the session thank you mr kumar sir for uh, having a valuable time spread for us in spite of your busy schedule and having a good lecture which giving an a better good idea about the how the value fit business fit and uh, pro, pro, product fit everything so that uh, and it was also very good interactive session and which has helped us, our students uh, very much and i would also th- like to thank our management principal sir different hods and indirectly and indirectly those who helped me in making this session smooth thank you thank you vanendal sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you for giving this opportunity